Hello, and welcome to the Inspiring ECE Podcast. I'm your host, Marcia Nicole, and today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, and that is self-care and educator well-being. I can't wait to share with you some of the things I've learned over the years with how to take care of me and my colleagues and just share my happiness and joy that I can even share a little bit of that with you. So thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I can't wait to get into it. Hello, and welcome to the Inspiring ECE Podcast. I'm your host, Marcy Nicole. Thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast. We're about to talk about some exciting stuff on today's episode. So let's get started. So we've heard it all. Self-care, take a break, go and relax, go to the spa and try to rejuvenate. We get that, right? That's what we get when we think of self-care or what we're told to think about self-care. Those things are great. Don't get me wrong, but not everybody can do that. And that's important to know. I want to explain how self-care can be simple and effective, but I also want to start with the most major point I can tell you. Don't feel guilty. Again, don't feel guilty. Taking care of you is not, oh, it's a privilege. It's, it's a requirement. Putting in to you is not something you should feel guilty about ever. I wanted to state that. It took me a very long time to understand how important it was to take care of my well-being before I could take care of others. As an early childhood educator, we give our all every day to those tiny little learners. We support them through the development, emotion, their physical attributes, and all of those wonderful things. How can we do that if our cup is empty? Those are the questions you need to start asking ourselves as educators. Am I giving my best self to these children? And if not, how can I do that so I can show up at my best? I heard a quote from the Ontario Ministry of Education, and it says, educators who feel valued, respected, and heard will be motivated to provide the best possible education and care for children. How true is that? That starts with taking care of us. That quote resonated with me when I was maybe about 10 years into being in the field. I felt unvalued, not respected, and most of all, not seen. I wanted to do something about that. I felt like I was giving my all and getting nothing in return. I did a lot of looking outwards, a lot of extrinsic reasons for why I felt that way, but really it was within. I personally wanted more. I didn't know how to get there. I didn't know what to do or how to begin, but I knew I wanted more. I began with taking professional development and investing in myself. I started to feel better about who I was and where I wanted to go within the field. And I'm not saying by any means, this is for everybody. I'm just saying this was for me. But what I'm trying to share is you need to find what brings you joy. You need to find what brings you that happiness and peace. I also began to get into nutrition and fitness just because I needed to put into me. I began taking walks and then I started listening to podcasts on these really long walks that I absolutely loved. And I mean, we live in Ontario, Canada. That's where I'm from. And we've got all kinds of seasons. And I used to be like, oh, I'm only going to walk when it's warm outside. And then I realized how important those walks were to grounding myself, to putting my perspectives in check. So I began to walk throughout the entire year, all through the seasons. I dressed for the weather, of course, but then I started to really appreciate nature and being outside again. I never did that before. It was just something I did, but I ended up finding my joy in it, despite the weather. 
The point that I'm trying to get at is as educators, we should start incorporating our self-care into our daily, weekly, monthly routines. We need to begin having a routine that generates us daily. However they might look for you, some of us get up early in the morning and we exercise or we do yoga or we take that walk or we journal or we just sit and be one with that cup of coffee. I could so do that as well. Or maybe it's something weekly. I get together with my colleagues and we have a book talk or we talk about our latest show on Netflix or we just get together and have a collaborative conversation just to be together. But again, that's something you look forward to weekly. And maybe it's something monthly that you volunteer or you help at a food drive or you give back to your community in some way. Whatever and however your self-care looks, we need to start making that a part of our routine and stop feeling guilty about it. A part of this podcast is for us to advocate for what educators need. But mostly, I want to help you reconnect with your passion for the field. However that may look on your own professional journey, I'm here to help you reconnect, rejuvenate with that passion for the early childhood education sector. The best part about self-care is that it's unique to you. There is not a one-size-fit-all type of solution. We have to be mindful of financial obligations. Look for things that are free and easy to access, as well as spending time with loved ones, playing a board game, walking your pets. Doing those things rejuvenates who you are. And that's important as an early childhood educator because your work is important. You are going to hear me say that over and over again because I believe it in my soul. Your work is so, so important. I want you to begin to love yourself without feeling the guilt. I want to thank you so much for joining me on today's episode. I love talking about wellness, self care. This will be a topic we revisit in the future absolutely over and over again because it is vital to having successful educators. Thank you so much for joining me on today's podcast. Please feel free to send me an email at edu at ispire.com as well as visit me on my socials at ispire to educate as well as at Marcia Nicole underscore. I'm here for you. DM, connect, reach out. Let's build this community. Once again, thank you so much for joining me on the Inspiring ECE podcast. Until next time. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of the Inspiring ECE podcast. This was a blast. If you don't want to miss any future episodes, please don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on socials on Ispire to Educate. Until next time, bye for now.